Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm eating f Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use your numpad. I have mine cable managed, but trust me, it's over here. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use your numpad as a stream deck. Obviously, with stream decks, you can do some crazy things like turn lights on and off, change lights, colors, open programs on your computer. You can't do this, do that with this. At least I don't think there might be a program out there. I know Touch Portal is a program that you can use your phone as a stream deck and you can do all the same things essentially. The numpad's just what I'm going to be showing you guys today. This is inside of OBS itself. No plugins needed. If that sounds good to you. Be sure to stick around to the end so you guys can see how to set it all up. All right, guys, I do want to start off by saying one thing. This is going to be a little bit confusing for me, even though I've done it and I know how to do it because I'm running two OBS windows actually. I'm recording in the one that's over here and I'm not in the one that's over here. So it's a little, little, little weird. Um, but anyways, first things first, what you're going to want to do is you see all these buttons over here. You're going to want to go to settings. You see all these settings that pop up. You want to go to hotkeys. I don't believe you want to have numlocks, numlock on. I don't think I have it on. Just so make sure numlocks off on your numpad. Go ahead and whatever you want to use on your numpad as a key to switch to scenes, go for it. I mean, there's not really anything against it. Uh, you just have to have all your scenes in you have to have all your scenes created and then once you have it created you can click on a button that you want to switch to the scene it'll it'll just work you press apply and it'll work you guys can see if I go to hotkeys you can see I have end which is one connected to 75% cam full cam I have down which is two scene two I think is just like a scene that I use that I just adjust whenever I need like a certain scene, a specific scene. So I don't have anything bound to that because I hardly ever stream on scene two. Screen is insert, which is just the zero, the big zero, because I'm usually on screen. So that's why I made it the biggest button. BRB will be right back is page down, which is three, I believe. And then NS, that's an audio scene that I that I have set up that I don't really use. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Mine's pretty basic. You have nine buttons. And you actually have a plus and minus, a backspace, an equals, times, and divide all on the numpad. So you can technically use all of those, although I wouldn't recommend the math ones, because then when you open up a calculator, it's going to be weird. And it'll do it on your normal keyboard as well. It's, it's fairly simple, actually. I'll show you guys that it works, because if you will direct your attention over here to my key, to my numpad. If I press 0, I stay on screen. I press 1, I come to 75% cam. Hi. I press 2, I go to full cam. Hi again. And see you guys in a sec. If I press three, I'll go to BRB. Boom. And if I press zero again, it takes me back to screen. You can also do some things in Discord with it. Like I believe I set seven to be a mute button for my mic and eight to be a deafen. I go here and call this group of content that nobody else is in except for me. Shut up. I don't care. I know how to use Discord. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, if I call this group that no one's in, this is just a group where I upload like screenshots and pictures too, so I can download them on my computer. Uh, it just makes life simple for me. Once I'm in this call, if I press seven, yes, it mutes my mic. And if I press it again, it unmutes it. And if I press eight, it deafens me, which mutes my mic and turns my headphones off in the call. If I press it again, boom, I'm undeafened. If you guys want a full tutorial on this and all the different keybinds you can do inside of Discord, go ahead and let me know. I just find this interesting. While you guys are here, might as well show you. All you gotta do is click add a keybind and action. You have all these actions here. Toggle mute, which is what I use, or you can do push to mute. You're gonna pick whatever you want. I guess we'll do push to mute and then just click on record keybind and then make sure numlock is off and then just press the key, which for me is gonna be page up, even though I'm never gonna use this. I'm gonna delete it right after. If I go here and if I press it, it'll mute me momentarily and it'll scroll up for some reason. But um, if you're like in a different game, like if you're playing Fortnite and like if I tab out, <clears throat> it'll still work, but it won't scroll my page up. So, but it only does it while I have while I have the button pressed. So I have the button pressed and I'm muted and I'm like releasing it and spamming it. And you can probably hear it in my mic actually. And it's toggling, it's turning mute on when I have it pressed, but not when I don't have it pressed. So yeah, I just find this pretty useful, pretty cool, pretty sick. And uh, yeah, so go ahead, do with it what you will. And I hope I made you guys the streaming experience better today. If I did by chance happen to help you guys out today, please go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel as it really does help the videos do better and it'll help it get pushed out to more people just like you who want to make their streaming and gaming experience better. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Question, comments, concerns, go ahead, leave those down in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to respond to you guys. But without further ado, see y'all next time.